Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create and run a Jakarta Enterprise application on IntelliJ IDEA with Apache Tomcat 11 by following its official documentation. So, let's get started. At first, open your favorite web browser and browse this URL. Here is what you will need to create and run your first Jakarta enterprise application. You must install IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate on your system and also the relevant plugins by default the following necessary plugins are bundled and enabled in IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate Jakarta Enterprise Edition Platform Jakarta Enterprise Edition Application Servers Jakarta Enterprise Edition Web Servlets Jakarta Enterprise Edition Web or Servlets and Tomcat and Tom Enterprise Edition Also Java SC Development Kit JDK version 1.8 or later and also Tomcat Web Server and a Web Browser Make sure that you already have installed all of this on your system. I already have installed IntelliJ IDEA on my machine and also I already have installed Apache Tomcat 11. You will find a link in video description how to install IntelliJ IDEA and Apache Tomcat on Windows operating system. Let's create a new Jakarta Enterprise project. IntelliJ IDEA includes a dedicated wizard for creating Jakarta Enterprise projects based on various Jakarta Enterprise Edition implementations. Now I am going to create a new Jakarta application. So click on this button to create a new project. In the new project dialog, select Jakarta Enterprise Edition and then enter the name for your project. I am going to name it Jakarta Enterprise Edition Hello World and then select the location where you want to store the newly created Jakarta project. This is the default location. If you want to change this location, click on this browse button and then browse the folder where you want to store. Then click on OK. Select the template from this drop down list. Select web application. Now select the application server. Click on this drop down list or click on the new button then select Tomcat server. Now browse the Apache Tomcat web servers home directory. Select the home directory click on OK and also Select the Tomcat base directory. Okay. Now select the language Java and also select the build system Maven. My case org.example. Here, this is the artifact. Okay. Now select the JDK, click on this drop down list. If you don't have installed JDK on your system, click on the download button or you can add JDK from the disk. Okay. I already have installed the latest version of JDK. You will find a link in video description how to install Oracle JDK on Windows operating system. 
ok select this then click on next in the version field select Jakarta enterprise edition 11 because that's what Tomcat 11 used in this tutorial is compatible with click on this drop down list and select Jakarta enterprise 11 ok in the dependencies list you can see that the web application template includes only the servlet framework under specifications expand specifications and select servlet now click on create that's it our first Jakarta enterprise edition project has been created successfully. Intel IJ idea creates a project with some boilerplate code that you can build and deploy successfully. Here pom.xml is the project object model with Maven configuration information including dependencies and plugins necessary for building the project. And also The index.jsp is the starting page of your application that opens when you access the root directory URL. It renders hello world and a link to hello servlet. The hello servlet class extends HTTP servlet. And is annotated with at web servlet name hello servlet here the value is hello servlet it processes request to hello servlet a get request returns HTML code that renders hello world let's configure the application server click on main menu and then open settings here expand build execution deployment find out the application servers select here you can add the application server click on this plus sign and then select the application server that you want to add I already have the application server apache tomcat ok click on ok let's create a run configuration intellij idea needs a run configuration to build the artifacts and deploy them to your application server in the main menu go to the run or edit configurations here configure the application server here I already have configured tomcat server 11 here this is the HTTP port 8080 let's run the tomcat server that's it our first Jakarta servlet application runs successfully on IntelliJ IDEA with Apache Tomcat 11. Let's modify the application. Whenever you change the source code of the application, you can restart the run configuration to see the changes. But this is not always necessary, especially when you cannot restart the server. Most of the changes are minor and don't require rebuilding the artifacts, restarting the server and so on. Let's change the JSP page of the application. Open index.jsp and then change the gratings from hello world to a better gratings or something like that you want 
in the services tool window click on the reload button or press shift plus f10 from the keyboard in the update dialog select update resources because the jsp page is a static resource click on ok now go back to the web browser and reload that's it you can configure the default update action in the run configuration settings so go to the run or edit configurations in the main menu change the on update action option under the server tab of the tomcat run configuration settings click on this drop down list select update resources okay also you can set the default web browser from this drop down list click on apply and then click on ok that's it if you are uh, new to this channel subscribe this channel and like comment share thank you so much for watching this tutorial